Hey, what's up, everybody? So today I'm going to be working on this 2013 Nissan Rogue, and I'm going to be showing you how to replace the spark plugs on here. And I'm going to be showing you step-by-step step everything that needs to be removed to get to them. So here we go. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to remove is this box right here. And what's holding it on is this screw right there along with uh, another screw there so we'll move those remove that first And so the next thing we're going to be doing is removing the engine cover right here. And in order to do that, there's a 10 millimeter there and 10 millimeter there. And then along with this other 10 millimeter. One of the more difficult screws to get to is that one right there. But I found the best way for accessing that screw is with a uh, 10 millimeter wrench and I'm going to be using this uh, I guess you might call it a multi-tool wrench and just put it on there and work that loose slowly so that's what we're going to be doing next so we'll remove that and then we'll go on to the next step All right, so now that I have the engine cover removed, I like to go ahead and remove this brake, brake res uh, blade fluid reservoir here and the air box. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect all this stuff. We're gonna disconnect this uh, electrical connector here and also these two 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeters from there and this whole reservoir will be able to move out of the way for the air box we're going to need to disconnect the o2 sensor connector and also disconnect uh unscrew the screw right here which is the hose clamp for the for the air box so we'll disconnect that and then uh, i'll show you the steps from there
So on the back side of this air box, in order to get this completely free, there is a, you're gonna wanna disconnect this wiring harness from the box, from that clamp right there. Now that's free. The bottom of the air box can stay in place. And we're gonna work on, sorry, just car passing. So now we're gonna work on disconnecting some of these lines right here. These two, ten, these three 10 millimeters need to come off. Uh, the 10 millimeters holding on these right here also need to go. So, and the other 10 millimeter that needs to go is this one right here. undo the 10 millimeter that is right under there holding all these pipes in place. And the reason why you need to take loose that 10 millimeter underneath there and this one right here on this end is because of these solid metal lines that are going on top of the intake. So it's going to be that 10 millimeter there, there, and that one on top. So now I'm going to be disconnecting this, this line that goes on top here. This line can be a little bit difficult to come off because it does have vacuum still on it. So I might actually just disconnect it from this point. Alright. So now it's disconnected from there. I'm going to also disconnect. Now that I have all this disconnected, this can all kind of move out of the way. And the next things I'm going to be disconnecting, the 
next things I'm going to be disconnecting is these two these two coolant lines that run through the throttle body this this little clip here this clip from the bottom and you'll need these little picks in order to undo those the the most convenient way um, the other thing I'm gonna disconnect is I'm gonna disconnect this this line here from from the throttle body from the throttle body because this metal line runs back underneath this whole intake plenum so the easiest way is to disconnect it from there sorry disconnect that and also disconnect I'm gonna just go ahead and disconnect this one right here so this one and that one there So I'm also going to disconnect. Sorry, I'm going to be disconnecting this wire from the the throttle body, electric throttle body, right there. Alright, so that's pretty much everything from this side of the engine. Now we're going to move over to this side. So I now have all three of those hoses off and I'm going to show you the, 
last, I believe it's the last bolt that's going to need to come off. There's a bolt right, right there that holds on uh, this, this manifold, th that holds on the plenum that needs to come out. And that is a 12 millimeter. So once I undo that, that should be the main support holding on the, the intake plenum and then we'll just undo the plenum bolts. So the one back there is actually a 13 millimeter. Once it breaks loose, you can really just undo it by hand. Depends on how tight yours is, but mine, I just undid it by hand. Well, I put used the wrench to break it loose, and now I can undo it by hand. So it's really not that tight. So I got that off. That's the bolt right there. And now I'm gonna hit the. 10 millimeters that run across the top of the plume here, there, and one on the end. Take all my tools off, get all the tools out of the way. And now this whole plenum should lift its way out of here. That's how you remove the intake plenum on this vehicle. Um, and I'm gonna show you that bolt that I was undoing on the back side. So that's the bolt you have to undo, that one right there. And that's the one hose with the clamp on it and the other one. So the the reason why, back to the reason why we have to remove all this is because the number one coil on this on this engine is bad, which is this one right here. So I'm going to flash an image on the screen of the firing order for this vehicle so you can uh, take a look at that and we're gonna go ahead and get that coil changed out so um, and since we have all this already taken loose we're going to also change out all of the spark plugs so anyway I hope you're finding this helpful if you are finding this video helpful hit the hit the like button thumbs up and let me know that that this was helpful for what you're trying to accomplish and then we're going to um i'm gonna make a little time lapse of putting all this back together and i'll let you hear what it sounds like so here we go with a time lapse
so now everything's put back together so i'm just gonna start it up and that's gonna be it so here we go so i also disconnected the battery while doing this that way the check engine light would be reset and wouldn't have to go through any other process to get the check engine light off All right, guys, so that's gonna be the process for getting the, for changing the spark plugs and if you're doing the coil on any of the coils on the back side. So anyway, if y'all found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.